Good morning, everyone. Uh, Windsor's uh, live daily market outlook uh, is starting uh, today's uh, Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 20th of uh, November 2012. And the highlights uh, for today go as follows. The Moody's, uh, Moody's downgrades France uh, uh, from uh, AAA to AA1. This was the one of the surprises uh, released uh, slightly after close of uh, US uh, yesterday's U.S. session. Bank of Japan uh, holds uh, fire, uh, uh, keeping the rates unchanged. The device seizing calls as uh, pressure heats up. The Asian shares were uh, higher uh, on the uh, hopes for a U.S. Uh, fiscal uh, deal. And finally, today's uh, Eurogroup meeting uh, is likely going to uh, produce a sort of tentatively okay uh, for the next uh, aid uh, for Greece. Uh, oil uh, remains uh, uh, well supported and steady is uh, just under 89 level uh, following uh, increasing uh, tensions in the uh, Middle East uh, while gold regains some levels uh, that we mentioned in our uh, uh, yesterday's uh, comment 1734 is, it was initial uh, target and uh, basically the uh, yellow metal is currently holding around there uh, uh, recovering from uh, past uh, two, uh, two days ago left a dip to uh, 1702, uh, 1704, pardon, uh, uh, support. Uh, said uh, the Bank of uh, Japan uh, released its uh, monetary uh, decision, monetary policy decision, keeping it uh, steady and standing its uh, ground for uh, now in the face of uh, calls uh, from the country's uh, likely next uh, Prime Minister to pursue unlimited easing uh, uh, to revive an economy widely seen in the recession. The leader of the main opposition has put the central bank at the center of economic uh, debate uh, ahead of uh, December 16 national election that uh, surveys uh, show his uh, party could win, signaling his government uh, would be would put uh, the bank uh, under much uh, greater uh, pressure to ease the policy. From uh, the other side, as said, uh, Moody's uh, uh, has uh, downgraded the France uh, government uh, bond rating uh, to a one from uh, AAA, maintaining a negative uh, outlook. And uh, of course, immediate reaction was uh, uh, sharp fall of uh, single currency against the U.S. dollar that dipped as low as 127.60, uh, 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 following the release of uh, the news. The France uh, long-term economic growth, out growth outlook is uh, negatively affected. Uh, uh, by, by multiple structural challenges, including its uh, gradual uh, sustained loss of competitiveness and the uh, long-standing uh, rigidities of its uh, labor goods and the uh, service markets. These are the comments uh, from uh, Moody's. Uh, uh, France fiscal outlook is uncertain as a result of uh, its deteriorating economic uh, prospect, both in the short term due to subdued uh, domestic and external demand, <coughs> pardon, and in the longer term due to the structural uh, it is uh, noted above. Uh, as uh, said also the important, uh, basically one of the highlights is uh, a U.S. Uh, fiscal cliff uh, and it still remains one of the key issues. So with the President uh, Barack Obama meeting uh, with uh, uh, congressional leaders uh, uh, it's uh, going to be another, uh, this is uh, basically the one that is uh, uh, the one of the main uh, drivers of the markets in the, these uh, in these days, and uh, basically we are uh, looking for uh, some uh, uh, results of uh, uh, this as uh, fiscal cliff could trigger a recession and uh, push the unemployment uh, rate above uh, ten percent. Uh, comments from a rating agency uh, Fitch that was released yesterday. Uh, Fitch said it did not expect Congress to allow the tax hikes and spending cuts uh, which have been uh, dubbed as uh, a fiscal cliff uh, to take place uh, given the uh, far-reaching effects. Uh, the projected uh, rise in the unemployment rate uh, to exceed 10% uh, compares with the 7.9% uh, jobless rate in October. And of course, the fiscal cliff would uh, dramatic, dramatically affect demand uh, for uh, transportation assets. In uh, such an event, the agency uh, commented and said it uh, expected uh, the impact uh, on airport uh, traffic volume to range from uh, flat to 5% uh, uh, 
uh, decline from the current levels and the traffic volume on the road, the uh, tunnel and the bridge facilities to see smaller uh, declines uh, than they did in uh, 2008 and the uh, 2009 uh, recession. Uh, Fitch also forecasted that uh, with the fiscal cliff import uh, volumes uh, would fall along with the decline in consumer confidence and the uh, spending, uh, though expected uh, not to go as far as uh, uh, those seen in the recession of uh, 2008 and uh, 2009. Uh, from uh, today's uh, calendar, before we move to the uh, markets, uh, as said, uh, over by Bank of Japan uh, left its overnight uh, rate unchanged at 0.1%. Uh, uh, all industries activity came uh, uh, slightly better than forecasted minus 0.4 uh, releases minus 0.3 but uh, well below the uh, release uh, of the previous month at 0.1 uh, eurozone uh, PPI came at uh, 0 versus 0.2 uh, percent uh, forecast and the 0.3 uh, October's release I do apologize for the calendar being upside down uh, there is again something wrong with the uh, settings and Swiss uh, trade balance shows uh, increase in the trade surplus uh, uh, from 2.1 billion in September, uh, today's release is 2.82 billion the Swiss francs and uh, also well above the forecasted 2.34 uh, billion. Uh, data that uh, will come afternoon are from uh, US and the Canada housing starts uh, and the building permits are due at 13.30 uh, from US October releases. Uh, housing starts are uh, expected slightly to decrease from uh, September's uh, release of 870,000 to 850,000. Uh, while building permits are also expected uh, slightly lower, 870,000 compared to 890,000 uh, in the month of uh, September. Uh, Canadian wholesale sales at the same time for September 0.3% forecast, uh, uh, slightly below the uh, August release at 0.5%. Uh, and uh, we have the uh, Fed President Bernanke uh, is having speech in the late afternoon, 1715 uh, uh, GMT, and that uh, will be all from uh, uh, today's uh, calendar uh, more uh, interesting of course is the uh, look at the markets and the, uh, let's set, see what uh, we can expect uh, from the major currencies and commodities in the, uh, today's uh, action. As said, the uh, euro after uh, cracking uh, its important 128 uh, barrier yesterday hitting 128.18 uh, comments from Moody's uh, uh, pushed the price on opening of uh, Asian session sharply lower 127.63 is the low seen where the ascending 55 days exponential moving average contained so far the dips and basically the price was uh, hovering uh, for the rest of the night around the uh, 128 uh, level uh, this morning uh, again we have uh, the opening of uh, eurozone uh, uh, session a uh, slight dip down to 127.73 again contained uh, with the with the uh, 55 days uh, moving average and the, uh, now fresh uh, strength through 128 is now looking for a uh, further extension higher with clearance of uh, 128.18 uh, now to open the interim barrier of 38.2% uh, Fibonacci retracement of the larger uh, down move from 131.38 to 126.60 at uh, 128.43 ahead of um, more significant uh, 128.80 previous uh, lows of um, end of October as, uh, and the uh, 129.00 around figure resistance and the 50% uh, retracement seen as our next target. Uh, the most indicative is the outlook on four hour chart that uh, basically shows the uh, near term uh, outlook uh, the most uh, clearly and uh, we can see that uh, fresh momentum and the indicators all uh, pointing uh, higher uh, see potential for a further uh, recovery as a third uh, leg of uh, 12660 low that was interrupted by uh, corrective uh, 12800 to 12689 pullback seen uh, last uh, Friday and uh, yesterday. Uh, now cracking the 128 uh, barrier where it's also 200 days uh, moving average. Uh, the pair did manage to close yesterday uh, above this uh, level. The yesterday's close was at, uh, I do apologize, it was uh, above uh, 128, uh, 12 was uh, closed. Uh, basically sees uh, more potential uh, towards uh, the upside and the uh, a stronger recovery to prevent uh, uh, further easing. This is also marking uh, along with the 200 days moving average uh, marks the neckline of uh, broken neckline of uh, double top at 131.70 and 131.38 and uh, basically the sustained break above 128, 128 is to uh, look for a test of uh, upside levels 128.80 and uh, 129.00. 
on the downside immediate uh, supports are 128.73 uh, and uh, 128.60 as a more significant uh, barrier as this is uh, this uh, marks the 38.2% uh, percent retracement of the rally from uh, 126.60 to 128.18 and they also higher platform uh, lows of uh, yesterday and the overnight uh, and basically so far is uh, holding uh, the downside uh, protected uh, any dips uh, below this level could uh, weaken the immediate uh, structure and uh, look uh, for a uh, possible st uh, further uh, corrective action. Uh, for now, the downside remains uh, well protected by ascending uh, 55 days uh, moving average as uh, all indicators are uh, back into the positive uh, territory and the uh, fresh momentum now emerging uh, on the hourly chart uh, with clearance of uh, 128.18 seen as a trigger for a, a possible further uh, extension higher. Um, to mention that uh, 128 is a uh, quite strong barrier and uh, we haven't seen yet the a clear break here, so a further hesitation uh, could not be ruled out, ruled out. Of course, uh, a lot now depends on today's uh, Eurogroup meeting and the decision for uh, Greece. Uh, most likely, the tentative OK, as I mentioned in the beginning, is going to be the release of today as uh, uh, Eurozone finance ministers do, do not want uh, to risk uh, further as uh, Moody's as, uh, downgrade of, uh, Spain, of uh, France, I do apologize, has already shaken the markets, especially the single currency. As we can see in the, with the, within the blink of eye, the, the pair uh, lost ground and dipped uh, approximately 50 points. Uh, so I, I would say that uh, most likely as Greece uh, worked hard in the past couple of days to uh, fulfill the latest uh, and for the last requirements from uh, Troika in order to get approval for the first, further aid, a uh, most likely scenario would be release of uh, uh, sort of okay, temporary okay for Greece in order to proceed with the uh, financial uh, aid and uh, this of course uh, would be a further support uh, for the single currency. Conversely, any negative uh, uh, answer from the Eurogroup fi finance ministers uh, would put additional pressure on the uh, single currency. The British pound, uh, let's uh, take a look on the hourly. Uh, Steady is around the uh, 159 level. Basically, it's uh, congested uh, within uh, uh, 158.85 and the uh, 159.22 range. Yesterday's uh, uh, break above 159, pardon, uh, hit uh, 159.22. That also marks... Uh, it's not here. It, I do apologize. It marks uh, approximately slightly above 23.6% uh, of the uh, down leg from uh, 161.74 to uh, 158.26 with the uh, sideways moving 55 days moving average on the exponential moving average on the four hour chart uh, so far uh, limiting the upside but uh, in any case a uh, positive uh, tone that uh, is seen on the four hour chart uh, sees the upside they favored for now as the price approaches uh, uh, 159.00 and basically break above this uh, congestion is to uh, trigger a fresh extension uh, higher towards a uh, very important uh, 160 uh, level. This is psychological uh, round figure barrier, 50% uh, uh, retracement uh, of uh, 161.74 to 158.26. Also the main uh, bear trend line drawn of uh, 163.08 uh, that stands uh, near this uh, area at 160.15. So we are I will be looking for a test of uh, quite a strong barrier at uh, 160.00. Of course, in case uh, of a clear break above uh, 159, 159.22, uh, as the four-hour structure is, uh, <coughs> pardon, uh, very supportive at uh, this moment for the pair. While daily, uh, while hourly indicators are again uh, uh, gaining some uh, ground, uh, following a bounce uh, this morning of uh, 158, uh, of 159.00 to uh, 159.21, basically the uh, yesterday's highs has already been uh, tested, but the break above the congestion uh, is required in order to uh, resume the recovery from uh, 158.26 and basically to prevent uh, a pair for, from further sliding as uh, 200 days moving average so far uh, contained the reversal from uh, 163.08 peak of uh, 21st of uh, September 2012. And more prospect uh, as uh, as I said, uh, is uh, seen towards the upside, of course, uh, with break above 159.22 uh, with supportive uh, one and four hour indicators uh, seen favored uh, for now. 
to extend gains through 159, uh, 40, uh, 159 59 Fibonacci resistance towards uh, our uh, near-term target at uh, 1600. The dollar yen is also consolidating recent uh, gains that uh, failed to regain uh, uh, 8200 target, 8158 since so far this is yesterday's uh, Asian session high with the price being congested uh, within uh, a narrower 81 to uh, 81 uh, approximately 40 50 uh, range uh, the appearance of uh, doji candle seen on the daily chart uh, yesterday uh, sees I would say suggests uh, that uh, further hesitation uh, under uh, 81 58 and 82 is uh, quite likely at this uh, point uh, with the lower uh, range uh, uh, with the lower range uh, boundary and the limit uh, at 81 approximately reinforced by 50, uh, 20 days exponential moving average uh, coming now under increased uh, pressure hourly indicators uh, are uh, coming uh, just above uh, their uh, midlines and still pointing lower that uh, sees uh, more potential towards the downside while uh, four hour indicators are uh, four hour chart indicators are now descending off the overbought uh, territory that uh, could be a signal for some uh, uh, more significant uh, corrective action. Uh, good support at 80.67 that marks 38.2% uh, Fibonacci retracement of the uplink from 79.20 to 81.58 uh, that coincides also with the previous uh, high at uh, 80.67 high of uh, 2nd of uh, November offers uh, good support and should ideally uh, contain any deeper uh, dips in order to keep the immediate uh, uh, bullish structure in play and look for a possible further extension towards our initial upside target at 82.00. Any fall below 80.67 would delay immediate bulls in favor of some further corrective action with the levels, support levels, dynamic one at 80.50, the 55 days exponential moving average, 80.39, 50% retracement and the 80, 11.61.8% retracement. Basically, break below this and 80.00 could be quite uh, bearish as uh, this would uh, keep the immediate uh, visible. It would put immediate uh, bulls on hold and uh, probably focus the lower uh, levels above uh, 79, 79.20 and uh, 79.06, the recent uh, base. For now, I said uh, bullish structure remains on the larger picture still. Uh, uh, intact uh, with corrective actions in uh, preceding uh, a fresh rally towards uh, 8158 and then 8200 as our uh, initial upside uh, target. Uh, Ichimoku studies remain uh, uh, well uh, supportive uh, for the dollar yen. And finally, dollar Swiss uh, that uh, lost uh, basically the traction after uh, yesterday's uh, a brief break and the close below, uh, briefly below 200 days moving average uh, and the round figure support at 9400. As we mentioned, this was uh, as is seen as a break point for the pair. Following upside uh, rejection to sustain gains above uh, 95 and then uh, a repeated attack uh, seen uh, last uh, Friday that stalled at 9489, uh, confirming the failure swing and the a fresh extension uh, below 9400 uh, with 50% uh, retracement at 9393 so far holding uh, the downside offering a uh, temporary support but uh, a break a clear break below 94 is set uh, to confirm the top at uh, 9500 and open way for a, a further retracement of the latest rally from uh, a 9213 low of 17 October that peaked at uh, uh, 9511 on the 13th of November 2012 as set uh, uh, denting a uh, 200 days uh, moving average could be an uh, initial indication of uh, further weakness and uh, most probably break uh, below uh, levels uh, of uh, 9365, uh, 9385 pardon previous uh, high and 9365.61.8% percent retracement uh, uh, expected to further weaken the structure and uh, uh, most likely confirm the lower top at uh, 9511 as uh, uh, previous uh, supports uh, at 94, 30, and 94, 00 are likely lost for now with of course further extension lower break below 93, 85, 93, 65 expected to 
required basically to confirm the uh, negative uh, stance. Uh, near term uh, structure remains negative uh, with the one and four hour indicators in the negative uh, territory. Uh, four hours one are uh, uh, building up the bearish momentum and the most likely scenario would be further extension lower. A bearish crossover of uh, 20 over 55 days moving averages at uh, 94.36 uh, offers uh, uh, and adi gives additional uh, pressure to the pair and basically seen uh, capping the any corrective action so far as uh, this morning's bounce uh, has been limited uh, uh, twice at uh, 94.27 seeing uh, more pressure towards uh, a downside and a clear break below 94.00 to open way for a further weakness and extension of the down leg from 95.11 the, the recent peak. And crude oil as set holds steady mainly supported by current unrest in the Middle East and the clashes between Israeli and the Palestinians. As the oil surged yesterday to 89.77 this was our uh, previous uh, our previous uh, uh, pro pardon the uh, previous uh, uh, support uh, 87 uh, pardon 89 uh, 70 I do apologize 8977 basically break above uh, 8920 uh, has so far reached this uh, just ahead of 61.8% uh, uh, retracement at 8987 and the psychological 9000 uh, resistance uh, for our uh, indicators are a bit uh, stretched at this point and uh, just coming out uh, uh, from the overbought uh, territory as uh, seen on the corrective uh, pullback from 8977 uh, yesterday's peak that uh, dipped so far to 8861 uh, previous uh, range uh, at tops at 87, uh, approximately 87, 40, 87, 0, 0 now act as a good support uh, seen uh, uh, containing uh, dips in order to uh, uh, see the ideal reversal somewhere above uh, these levels uh, to resume the current uh, uh, recovery of uh, 85 uh, base and uh, probably to look for test of uh, 90 levels and above uh, with the 93.50 previous uh, uh, consolidation range uh, top uh, seen as the next uh, upside target in case of sustained uh, break. Uh, daily structure is still in the negative territory but uh, fresh momentum now built up and uh, especially that uh, uh, break up and reversal was signaled by the diamond bottom pattern that has already been uh, broken and break above uh, main bear trend line of uh, 100.72. Uh, sees uh, more uh, upward momentum and the more potential uh, towards the upside as uh, set uh, uh, break above uh, 90.00 to open and 90.42 is the Fibonacci retracement 38.2 percent of the entire uh, down leg uh, reinforced uh, by uh, 55 uh, days moving average currently 10.90. Uh, 46 so basically we have a 90 zero zero and then 90 around 45 zone as uh, our next uh, upside uh, barriers uh, as uh, break above here is uh, to attract uh, uh, more upper levels uh, important was uh, regain of uh, previous uh, uh, lows at 8769 and break above the recent uh, range uh, lower tops at 87 uh, 20 40 and the higher ones at 89 20 that uh, likely would open way for some uh, a stronger uh, recovery with the regain of uh, I would say 92 uh, approximately 9300 uh, required to confirm the base and the bottom at uh, 84 and the open way towards uh, more significant barriers 9350 and then 9425 where it's currently 200 days uh, moving average. And gold remains uh, well uh, supported uh, for now as uh, uh, we have reached our initial uh, target previous also target 50% uh, retracement at 17.34 and just ahead of uh, 17.38 uh, our previous high of uh, 9th of November and uh, uh, Fibonacci 61.8 uh, 61 expansion. Uh, overall uh, near term tone is still uh, positive as indicated on the 4 hour chart. Uh, uh, that is uh, the, 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 which indicators are still uh, pointing higher and the most likely clearance of 1734 that was seen as initial uh, uh, barrier. I mentioned yesterday that uh, it's not ruled out that uh, this level will uh, limit uh, uh, the upside uh, for now. As uh, mentioned the consolidation uh, 
occurs at uh, this zone uh, for now and uh, most likely uh, we might be looking for a test of uh, a few ticks higher 1738 1739 barriers and more sideways movements as seen on the uh, four hour chart as the current uh, consolidation is uh, underway uh, while the uh, four hour uh, indicators are uh, quite uh, positive at uh, this uh, moment and they see potential for possible test of uh, uh, 1739 uh, daily outlook is uh, gaining a uh, uh, daily indicators are gaining a uh, momentum and the MACD is just about to, to uh, break above the midline as clearance of uh, 1739 also reinforced by uh, 55 days uh, uh, moving average is expected to open our initial upside target at uh, 1748 uh, 61.8% uh, retracement and then uh, comes uh, 1763 uh, approximately 1763 Fibonacci 100% expansion on the downside the immediate support lies at 1731 this is also previous high and yesterday overnight's low at 1729 while any dip below here would delay immediate boost in favor of some stronger corrective action as 1728 23.6% retracement dynamic support 1725 55 days exponential moving average and the uh, outside more significant uh, 17 uh, 24 38 point uh, two uh, percent retracement and the uh, peaks of uh, yesterday in the intraday highs uh, basically the consolidation uh, top as seen uh, uh, expected to contain any deeper dips for now the outlook the structure remains uh, well supported and uh, looking for a test of uh, 17 break above 1734 uh, for test of 1738 uh, 39 our initial uh, upside uh, targets uh, that was all from me you can uh, submit your uh, questions if there is any for today Thank you. If no questions, it seems that only greetings to me. Uh, in case that uh, we, if we don't have uh, questions, that uh, we will uh, conclude uh, today's uh, session. The Arabic one uh, is due to start uh, in a while. Uh, I would like to thank you all for uh, being with us. Uh, I believe that uh, we provide you with a, a good quality of information for your uh, uh, this uh, trading uh, expect to see you again tomorrow at our uh, regular time at 8 uh, o'clock uh, GMT 10 o'clock uh, local uh, Cyprus time I wish you a nice day and uh, very successful and uh, profitable trading good luck